New to 9 at 5, a big announcement from the White House today could result in a big cut to the number of legal immigrants who are allowed to come or stay in the U.S. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Alexander Lamone has the details. If an immigrant gets public assistance like food stamps or Medicaid, that person could be disqualified from getting a U.S. visa or green card. That's according to a new rule issued by the Trump administration that also says legal status can be denied if the government anticipates the person will need assistance in the future. That encourages and ensures self-reliance and self-sufficiency. Ken Cuccinelli, the acting director of USCIS, made the announcement at the White House Monday. He says the rule isn't just good for the United States, it's also good for immigrants. It will also help promote immigrant success in the United States as they seek opportunity here. The rule does not apply to those seeking asylum, but the restrictions will affect other migrants receiving a single type of assistance for 12 months in a three-year period. But receiving more than one benefit shortens that period even further. The Congressional Hispanic Caucus said in a statement that the new rule will cause fear in immigrant communities and it could lead migrant families to become homeless or go hungry. This is a really radical, radical plan to reshape immigration in uh, the U.S. Phil Wolgan is with the Center for American Progress. Trump keeps saying that he wants legal immigration, and yet this literally penalizes legal immigrants who have done everything right, waited in line. The National Immigration Law Center calls the new rule a wealth test on immigrants, and the group plans to file a lawsuit to stop it from taking effect. In Washington, Alexandra Limon, KCAU 9 News. Presidential candidate and California Senator Kamala Harris saying this new rule is in line with what she's come to expect from the president. Well, it's just an ongoing um, campaign of his to vilify a whole group of people to, as he does with so many things, be ignorant about the history of our country, who we are, how we were founded, and what our values are. Harris taking aim at the president today in Burlington, Iowa, where she held a roundtable discussion on health care. The 2020 hopeful is wrapping up her three-day tour across the state. Harris has also stops planned in Muscatine, Davenport, and Des Moines.